Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video showing you how to install Clockwork Mod on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is the latest method to install Clockwork Mod so you can flash your ROMs, kernels, themes, etc. So what you're going to need to do is first go to Menu, Settings, scroll down, um, go to Applications, so select Applications and select Development, and make sure USB Debugging is checked up at the top. I do recommend following my video on how to root first. I recommend having root access before you follow this video and uh, you should be ready to go. So I'll link to that video in the description. So watch that video before you watch this one to root your device. And once you're rooted, you're ready to go, you can and install Clockwork Mod. So once you do, you're ready to go. You can click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this site. Another thanks and shout out to SF Hub for doing this for us. Anyways, go ahead and scroll down. First, you'll need to, since you already uh, went through the root process, you should have all these files already, but in case you don't, here's the drivers. Make sure you download and install the drivers right here, and then here is the zip file you will need. So download that zip file, extract the folder onto your desktop. On my desktop there, it is right there, Epic 4G Touch Auto. So I'm gonna go back to my Epic 4G Touch and plug my phone in. So as I said, make sure you have USB debugging enabled, and I'm just gonna plug in my phone Go to that folder, that Epic 4G Touch Auto folder, and scroll down until I see run first at BAT at the bottom. So, and then I'm gonna hit run. Should open up a command prompt, like so. And once it does, all you're gonna have to do is install your uh, option C, which is gonna install your Clockwork Mod on your phone. So just type capital C, hit enter, and now you have options depending on your current setup. So you have all these different options. I'm going to say, go back to your uh, Epic 4G Touch and check to see what uh, your phone is on. So go to menu settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and then under build number, gingerbread EK02. So depending on if you're on EK02 or not, uh, which is the latest Sprint OTA update, it depends on what uh, version you are on, which is what you're gonna install. So I'm on EK02, so I'm going to go back to that, uh, that command prompt and find the EK02 version of Clockwork Mod. So I'm going to choose option E because it says install boot image EK02 plus Clockwork Mod. If you are on EL13 and you stock EL13, you wanna install uh, Clockwork Mod, EL13 plus Clockwork Mod. So there's that option, or if you're on EG30, just select whichever one it is, so A, C, E, or G, depending on what your phone is on. So I'm going to type a capital E, like I said, since I am on EK02, and I'm going to hit enter. So I'm gonna hit enter, it just says make sure USB debugging is enabled, don't have USB storage on, and that's it, ready to go. I'm gonna press any key to continue, and it's going to install, and it says, uh, after you press any key to continue, you're properly rooted, if you are properly rooted, so make sure you have root access, like I said. Um, so I'm going to press any key to continue. Be ready, pay attention to your phone, actually. So keep your phone handy, because you might be prompted to allow root access on there. So I'm gonna press a key to continue, and I'm gonna hold my phone up, we'll see. And it said at the bottom has been granted super user permissions, so I didn't have to allow it access, but you might, so make sure you keep an eye out on your phone in case it asks, do you want to allow super user permissions? But right now it looks like it's pushing all the files to my Epic 4G Touch to install Clockwork Mod. Not too sure how long it's going to take. And it looks like it's installing it now. And there we go, now it says getting ready to reboot. Uh, make, make sure you're not alarmed if after you reboot it takes a while to boot up. Since all the cache is wiped, it is going to take a little bit longer to boot up. But that's it, press any key to continue. It should reboot your Epic 4G Touch. So it says rebooting. And that's it. So if it takes any longer than 30 seconds to initiate reboot, make sure you manly, manually reboot your phone. But that's it. Press any key to continue and you'll be done. So my Epic 4G Touch is gonna boot up. As I said, be patient with this boot up. It is gonna take longer than usual. And once it boots up, I will show you guys how to get into your Clockwork Mod recovery. All right, my Epic 4G Touch has rebooted. I'm just gonna go ahead and power it on off because I need to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So power off your phone. 
And once your phone has powered off to boot into clockwork, all you have to do is press and hold the volume up button and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those and keep it held down till that first Samsung screen pops up. So right there, let go. So right when you see Samsung Galaxy S2 pop up, just go ahead and let go. And it should reboot your phone into your custom recovery clockwork mod. And there we go. So as you can see, we now have clockwork mod recovery version 5.0.2.7. So you got all these options to navigate through clockwork mod. Uh, use the volume up and down rockers to navigate and then the power button to select it. So, um, but actually first, if you uh, wanna get the power button working, what you're gonna need to do is go, go scroll to the top, press the volume up button, volume down button, volume up button, and once it's done, it should say back menu button enabled. So just hit up and down until your back menu button is enabled, and now you can use the power button to select things. So, what you're gonna need to do, let's say you have, you can apply your update, you can wipe your data, factory reset, wipe your cache, Install zip, so if I wanted to select install zip with the power button, I can choose a zip, so if I wanted to install around, I don't have any uh, anything on my phone right now. So, well, in my internal storage I do. So I can choose a zip to install if I want to. And if I wanna go back, just hit go back, and go back again, and you can make backups. I do recommend making a backup right now, now that you just installed Clockwork Mod. So hit backup and restore, and just hit backup. It's gonna make an Android backup. You can back up to your internal phone storage as well if you don't have an external SD card on your phone. But that's it, I do recommend making a, an Android backup of your current setup. I already have one, so I'm not going to, but what that's gonna do is just back up everything. In case something goes wrong, you can always restore that backup. But I'm gonna go back, and as I said, you got other options, mounts and storage to mount your phone, advanced menu, and power off. But that's about it, so I'm gonna reboot my phone. And that is it, you are ready to go. As you can see, you have Clockwork Mod, you can install your ROMs, your kernels, your themes, etc. cetera. Uh, and that's about it. So if you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask, leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.